<laughs> hey, guys. Ah, it's the man himself. Raise the glass, Luke. Your father's decided to join us after all. Did Jesus tell you we were here? <laughs> yes, Dad. And the doorman's name is Jesus. <laughs> Why is my 17-year-old son in a bar? A pipe down, will you? We were taking you to pubs in Dublin when you were six. Oh, yes, I forgot. The Irish Head Start program. <laughs> it's only ginger ale. So, how was the show? Uh, oh, it was grand. Oh, yeah, the costumes. Oh, the songs. <laughs> what, what was your, uh, your favorite song, Dad? Uh, my favorite, well... That, 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 that's hard to choose. Yeah, but, but if you if you had to pick one, say the third one, the third one, definitely the third one. <laughs> Thank you, Vic. We love the show. Well, you know who also loved it then? That really nice couple from Oklahoma. You scalp the tickets to. <laughs> and by the way, when you're scalping tickets, the idea is to sell them for more than you paid for them. <laughs> well, we did. We paid nothing for them. <laughs> Oh, Dad's not laughing. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not laughing, look. You, I gave you those tickets because you were supposed to have a good time. Well, we did have a good time. Yeah. Till oh, right about now. See you at home. Good night, Luke. What were you doing at the theater? We were supposed to be on a date. Yeah, well, I, I, uh, <clears throat> I cut it short. Why would you do that? Because I was worried about you two. I had some crazy notion that I'd come to the theater and make everything okay. Like the feeling I had when I showed up at the airport. Oh, please, what were you making okay? My life? Is that why you came here? Spout a few proverbs and, and blame me for the breakup of my marriage and tell me how I can repair my relationship with Luke? No, that's not why I'm here. Well, why are you here, Dad? Well, because... Because I missed you. You think you're the only father who wants to spend time with his son? Oh. Sorry, Dad. Uh, I guess I screwed up all around. Well, you've got a fine boy there, Luke. You must have done something right. Yeah, but I just can't seem to connect with him. Well, maybe you're trying too hard. A windy day is not the day for Sachin. <laughs> you mean I should be... I should be patient? So that's what that means. Well, it's also a roofing tip. <laughs> now, don't be too hard on yourself, Benji. Your wife left you, and not in the way that God intended, as your poor mother went. May she rest in peace. You remember Mrs. Hanron, you know, Pete Hanron's wife? Mm hmm Well, when he left her, she put a bullet to her head. What? Oh, if she'd had a gun, she'd be a dead woman today. <laughs> She's as dim as a five-watt bulb. 